Recently, Angela H. Evans in the Fans of Serif Software uh, Facebook group started a conversation about using vector brushes to make an outline. Um, then Eric Rush has joined in the conversation and I've been following the conversation and they've been making sort of discoveries about what you can and can't do using Affinity Designer and vector brushes. So following their conversation I thought I'd make a video sort of helping to explain what I've learned from their conversation. I may have missed something out, but hopefully I haven't. So we come to Affinity Designer. Now, this doesn't work in Affinity Photo, and it only works in the um, Draw Persona, which is where the vector brushes are. It doesn't work in the Pixel Persona, which has the raster brushes, I think they're called. But I will be showing you later how to use those raster brushes to make a vector brush that we can I can use. But first of all, let us just look at having a bit of fun with these brushes. Now, first of all, I'm going to just draw a box. It doesn't have to be a box. It could be any shape. But I'm going to draw a box. And at the moment, I've got this fill colour, which is of sort of pink, but I'm going to get rid of that. I'll come to swatches and then I'll make that empty. Now the stroke is set on black, but there is no stroke. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this up to one. It doesn't have to be one, uh, one it could be more or less, but as long as you have a stroke line. And then all you need to do is sort of click on one of the brushes and then that brush will fill the line in. Um, it's probably not so good on a these more basic ones. So if I find like the image ones, let me zoom in as well, I might make this easier to see. If I like this, click on this chain it will change to the chain or the rope or whichever one you want. You're not restricted to sort of these image ones. So we go with this like ribbon, you can change it to a ribbon. Um, what's this one here? These are the ones I've been making. Um, any of these you can make it all sorts of different brush types um, and like I said let me just zoom out again you are not restricted to squares you could use the, the circle the ellipse or any of these shapes and just sort of just empty the fill and give yourself a stroke um, of about one and then just pick the brush you want to use. You can also use things like the pencil tool because you could just draw a line like that. Let's go with um, one of the image ones and then click on the chain or whatever, change it to whichever one you want. So as long as you have a line for this to follow, be it a shape or something that you draw yourself, um, you can use the vector brushes to go over and fill in that line or what have you. So what you do with that information, you, know, you can on your designs, you've probably got sort of endless possibilities. Now coming to the point where if you want to use one of your raster brushes, but this only works in vector, we'll need to make a vector brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new document and I'm going to make this in pixels and I'm going to make it 400 by 400, no, 400. And I'm going to have a transparent background. So I have my new document. 
I'm then going to come over to the pixel persona and I have my pixel raster brushes now one of these I have is called stitch brushes which I think I got from spoon graphics um, and I have these like cross stitch ones here so I'm going to use that come to the paintbrush tool and I'm going to just click the once and then I'm going to do another one there Right there, and yeah, I can't really get another one in on that at the moment, so I will leave that at hat four. Um, shame I should have started, and maybe if I try again, I'll start a bit further over and try and get five. That's better. Got five on that one. All right, and then I will come to the move tool because uh, I want this to be straighter. So I'm going to just rotate that till it's much straighter. I'll then come to the marquee rectangular marquee tool, and I'll just select that batch down there, and then edit copy and then file new from clipboard so I'll come off the move tool that one there so I have my five crosses and I've now also automatically sort of come back to the draw persona but what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this or export it as a PNG because I want the blank background I'll leave it on hold document and I'll go to export and as you can see I've made a few here one with four crosses one with two and one with three um, so I'll just call this cross stitch four now before I go I will also just quickly um, recolor this which is um, 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 um. Right, I'll just quickly delete that and I'll make another new one and in the pixel persona and this time I'm going to make it in red make sure that that is red that is the foreground color right onto the move tool again just rotate them so they're straight straighter anyway edit copy file new from clipboard and then export again as PNG and this time I'm going to call that number five and then I can close that one I can close that so I'm back to this one here let me move that at the top there out of the way and come to the brushes now I'm going to put them in the same group that um, category that I had all these other ones which I've made and I'm going to come up to the menu and I'm going to put new textured intensity brush and it will 
navigate to. So I'm going to put in cross stitch four. So that one will be added there. I'm going to do it again, but this time come to textured image brush. I'm still going to pick number four. So I've got two different types of brushes from number four. So I'm going to carry on and do intensity brush with number five. And then image brush with number five. So I have four new brushes here, which I've made. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on each one, but when it opens up the editing, I'm going to, rather than stretch, I'm going to put it on repeat, and then reset, and then close. And do it for the next one. Repeat, reset, close. Right, so I have those four new brushes and they're all going to um, repeat rather than stretch. So I'm going to use the heart tool this time on this shape here. Just quickly move it to there. The fill is zero or empty and the stroke is on one. So I click on the first one, and I've got this next one, oh, must click twice, um, and that one, that one's on stretch, it's, maybe I forgot to do that one, yes I did, put that on repeat, reset, close, so let me just zoom in, right, now hopefully this works, it, um, the first time I tried this it didn't, but why I've made one in black and one in red. So if I come back to this one here, if I try and change the colours on this one, I'll use swatches. This one will change the colours, sort of mainly at the background has some effect to the crosses in the middle. If I come out of that one and pick this one. Again, I use swatches here. Now, this is the black one that I made. So you're not having any effect whatsoever. Stay in the same color. Now this one will probably act pretty much like the first one that I made, in fact that I can change the colours pretty easily to whichever one I want. If I come to the last one which is the red crosses I made, I should now be able to change the colours of these whereas I couldn't do that with the black versions that I made so that is probably better if you're going to make your own vector brush from a raster brush like I've done here you could do it in two versions be it the black where you can't change the colours or make it a colour and then when you come to Um, pick in a colour, you can do it a lot easier than you can if it is on this one here because you can't change the colours because it was made as a black image. Now I may not. I may have got some facts slightly wrong now because I'm not fully understanding how designer works. In some cases, I'm more comfortable in Affinity Photo, but I'm hoping that is enough for you to get a bit of an idea of what you can do with vector brushes and shapes.
or lines, be it from the pen tool or the brush tool, uh, pencil tool. So again, you know, you could draw whatever shape you like, and then just use the brush tool to fill that line with whatever brush you decide to pick. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.